Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Victory at Sea. So we're at the Hirtshals port here in Denmark, and we just bought a Navigatory class destroyer last episode, and I think in our first battle with it, it was actually heavily damaged, so we're gonna need to pay some war bonds to recover it and recommission it, it, recommission it into our fleet. Now our goal short term is to unlock the let's see we've got destroyer destroyer submarine what i'd like to get is to the first cruiser which would be 4800 xp that's quite a bit to do nine million war bonds we might need to buy another ship here in the intern so i think i'm gonna buy the zero store 1936 class this is a german destroyer for six million war bonds so we'll probably do that. It just depends on how fast we can build XP. So let's just head out and patrol and try to find some convoys and things like that. So we actually got a mission. We have a new special agent that needs to be escorted to Grenin. We're putting a lot of trust in you for this mission, Captain at Sea. Don't let us down. So as we know, this is... We did one of these before, and the Grenin port is right down the road from here, so this is a very easy million war bonds, most likely. And there's a ship over there, so we should probably head on over there when we can. It's actually, th I think it said four ships, so yeah, it was easy one million war bonds, so that's nice. Let's turn the corner. I'm going to wait for the daytime, hopefully, to, uh, well, Never mind that thought. I think there were four ships though, and it did not look like it was a cruiser. So let's go head into battle. You still have some unselected ships for combat. Do you wish to continue? No? Oh, okay, we accidentally had the Emmanuel unselected, okay. Okay. So, last episode, our Matsu class destroyer escort did really well. I was surprised. And we are expecting reinforcements in two minutes, so let's kind of go on in a pretty aggressive stance, I would say. And actually, another seven minutes, we're going to have another two, or is it unknown? I can't tell. Okay. So let's head on down. I probably should have paused this, though, just to make sure that... Our ships are controlling themselves. Let me make sure what he's doing here. Yeah. No, I just keep clicking on the C. Okay. All right. Now we will manually control the German destroyer here. And let's have a look. We've got a torpedo boat. That's pretty easy. Flower class Corvette, a destroyer leader, a G class destroyer. Okay, so we've got quite a bit to deal with here. But I think we can do it. I kind of like playing as that destroyer escort from last time, but hopefully he can evade. Let me slow down speed here. He's already getting pretty shot up. Let's try to have him evade. There is a aircraft around here somewhere. I can't quite tell. It sounds like some anti-aircraft firing off. All right, so we should have avoided that. Okay. We're just about to get this flower class Corvette into range. I think I'll bump up the speed to one. I think these guys are all retreating, it looks like to me, and we destroyed that uh, torpedo boat. And we hit that Corvette pretty, pretty well. Let's see what our range is like here. 
I think they might have... No, that was the destroyed. I was going to say they might have smoked us there. I haven't really used that, but using the smoke screen could come in useful since there's no other barriers or anything out here. We better watch out for those torpedoes guy over there. A Matsu class destroyer. Probably about to launch some of my own torpedoes. And get up here. I think that'll be good. We're really, really close to these ships. Yeah, our destroyer escort got hit. That is unfortunate. We just hit the G-Class destroyer as well. We'll have to recover that Matsu class. Probably won't be too expensive. I think it was only three or four million war bonds. How's Navigatory doing over here? Let me pause this. He is not using his... can't use his turret for some reason. We'll keep the speed up, I think. Even though we're kind of doing some evasive maneuvers. What is this guy doing over here? Is he... No wonder he's not doing anything. He's set for manual control. At least we'll start by shooting over there. Alright, let's turn off that though. Okay. Try to take out this flower class corvette first and then we'll... Try to take out these destroyers. Now we did hit, I want to say, I can't remember which ship it was, either the destroyer leader or the G-Class destroyer, but we did hit it with the torpedoes and it did not take it out. And we've got three minutes till the reinforcements or AI help will show up, but I, I don't think we're gonna need any of their help. The HMS Claverhouse and the HMS Greyhound didn't catch what that other one... I think it was just Torpedo Boat. It might not have had a name. Okay, that was a crazy click there. Sometimes the... clicks are completely off. I, like, clicked here and it went... Uh, selected the ocean... Completely. Now that one, that one was all me. If we can get up here close, they're, they're really, really close, and so we can use our torpedoes on them. Let's see, probably focus on that guy since he's damaged the most. G class destroyer. What's. He's firing some torpedoes at us. We will fire torpedoes at him, too. This is going to be pretty close. Oh boy. Oh, did you guys see that? That was threading the needle right there. Okay, we hit the Claver House. I'm going to just go ahead and slow down here. Okay, we took that guy out. Almost hit, I think those were our torpedoes, almost hit the Navigatory with our own torpedoes. Would not have been good. Now there was another weird click. See, I clicked here and it... I could see the flash up for a moment that it had me going right there. Something the... There, it did it again. Is it have to, oh, is it because of the smoke? They're like simulating a smoke screen? 
And maybe that's what it is. See, that one worked fine, and we destroyed them. Great. But I will have to head back to port, because I would like to recover this destroyer escort that we have. Almost over two million war bonds. And I didn't catch how much XP we got, but... Pretty good amount. So we got the Kagero class destroyer, another Japanese, and the Oriani class destroyer, another Japanese destroyer, I'm assuming, just by the names. So let's head to port real quick. Repair our... Ooh, we, <laughs> we ran right into that, those guys. Okay, shipyard. Okay, apparently... We actually didn't have to... Oh wait, no we do. I thought this... I did not see that there. Okay, so let's pay this... 1.4 million, get our destroyer escort back, and we've got 4 million war bonds still. How close are we to our light cruiser? So we can actually get a carrier. I don't think I'll do that. Maybe at some point, but I'd like to get a cruiser. Look at all the turrets he has on him. He's got the observation aircraft too. I think that would come in really useful. Now something I wasn't really looking at was the armor on these things. So you got armor 2 on our German destroyer, armor 2 on our navigatory, armor 2, HP, what's the difference between HP and armor? Okay, yeah, HP is like the health of the ship. So that's why both of these ships have been heavily damaged before, but the Zerostorer here has not. All right, well, let's see if we can Head on out, do one more mission for the end of this episode. Maybe we can get a couple in, we'll see. Really bump it up to 12x. I think I might head up to Norway. And we'll try to kind of just progress from the North Sea up and over the north side of Scotland, I think. So we've got another ship here. This looks like submarines, though. Kind of want to wait around and see what they are before I engage, though. And we have to do that, wait for the daylight before that'll happen. Unless, let's see. No, we don't know what it is at all. Okay, so we've got submersible and a destroyer. We'll take them out. We've got plenty that can take care of these guys. And we've also got probably a destroyer heading to Grenin that's going to possibly help out, I suppose. I think that's why people will always say that this is similar to Mountain Blade, because in Mountain Blade, you usually would get, at least allied armies would come help you in the middle of the battle. So, I guess this will be our first truly hostile submersible that we're going to attack. See, these guys are coming in. Okay. Probably do not see the submarine around yet. Just out of curiosity, what are the top speeds of everything we've got here? 38. The Kayaki, the destroyer escort, a little bit slower. Okay. Good to know. Alright, well he's almost into range where we'll start firing on him. Let's just double check real quick. Yes, these guys are all AI control. This manual control is kind of the opposite way of thinking of it for me. I would I would have said AI control and had it checked. 
It's like some reverse logic there. Okay, I think we're going to fire our torpedoes and he's firing at us as well. He's only got two. Let's see if we can get a good hit. I think there's a pretty good chance. Are we just going to miss? Now we hit him. Sunk him. Okay. Now, finding this submarine out here is going to be difficult. That might be where that observ observation planes come in useful. Because if he's under the ocean, I'm not going to be able to find him. Let me bump up our speed. He might try to fire on us, though, if we... come around here, and then we'd be able to take him, take him out. Otherwise, we'll just need to retreat, I'd say. Let me just do one quick pass. Okay, here he is. Let me slow down our speed. Well, at least we have an idea of where he at. There he is. HMS Talent, the T-Class Submersible. Well, we'll pursue him. Disappeared again, but even our other friends have a pretty good idea where this guy's at. There he is. It's almost into range for our depth charges. Surprised he has not fired on us, but I guess he doesn't want us to let us know his position. Okay, we hit him. I'm going to slow down our speed a little bit here. Submarines move a little slow. Probably around, I don't know, 10 to 12. Uh-oh, he's, he's firing on the Kayaki and us. This is what he wanted to do. Smart guy, smart guy. But I think, oh, okay, luckily that was a dud. Okay. That was very close. And I didn't catch if that was a dud on the destroyer escort either, but I was focused on what was going on over here. Okay, now we're moving really, really slow. I don't know where he is, but he was around there somewhere. Surprised that we're not able to see him. Okay, there he is. Well, apparently... The AI's depth charges are really inaccurate when he launched those. Okay, there he is. Okay, we just took him out. Okay, he and he had hit with some torpedoes there right at the end. But I think we are okay. Another 2 million war bonds. 1600 XP to go until rank 3. And we unlock the Kadai class submarine. I think. I think I'll go ahead to. Again, Norway. Almost hit that ship there, though. Just gonna head up to the Norwegian port up here. Not sure what port that is, but just kind of the idea will be to make our way around and move into the Atlantic, just like I think the Bismarck and other Kriegsmarine would have done, rather than going the English Channel route, because that was pretty hostile. Okay, we want to watch out for that guy. That was a cruiser, I believe. Luckily, it did not pursue us. Okay, Bergen. 
we'll head to the port here. Alright, so now we're in port, so we're safe. So it does look like we're out of time for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.